Well, I want to get on to something else, too, because there's another thing people aren't talking about. And actually, it comes from the major media, Reuters, Associated Press, and that type of stuff. Because uh, you got too many people focused in on charts and things like that. I'm showing here <clears throat> a bunch of U.S. dollars, you know, hundreds of them, right? $100, $100 bills. Uh, just, just to reiterate again, it's pretty easy to print these damn things out versus to actually create something of real wealth and of real worth or mine gold or whatever or even build something construct something and i'm going to get on a couple other things here too because uh you know the other definition of money and i don't want to be uh i'm going to get into other things just be a little patient on this because the real definition of money basically now in the modern world it really has in the modern world now i'm not talking about ancient world it has no intrinsic wealth it's it act, and it's and no intrinsic wealth in its value in itself it's just a medium of exchange okay now we know how the deal goes with the racket and stuff at the top at the federal reserve and the banksters and i'm not going to rehash that but i want to get on something else uh what's going on here is actually we've had a um cyber security breach in jp morgan that's not a conspiracy theory or anything. It was as many as 76 million households data and 7 million small business businesses data may have been compromised in the breach. Now, what they are fearing, and I don't think this is drama garbage, but they're fearing it had to do with the Russians. Now, it's not so uh, land, outlandish to think that in lieu of all the different things that the West is trying to do to isolate, you know, dictator Putin over there and bring down, you know, how they're manipulating the price of oil down and all that type of stuff. They don't want, uh, they're not going to be giving, uh, dealing with the Russians with oil technology, oil drilling technology, which is going to hurt them in the medium and the long term investments. Well, it's, and this is per major media. This is not per, you know, drama conspiracy blogs there's actually a fear out there from the u.s officials that the cyber attack against jp morgan that affected as many as 70 million households was actually coming from putin it's not that crazy if you look actually in staten island you know how many russians are over there there's loads of them man all right in new york and you know you don't know who the hell is what it took a lot of uh, coordinated effort to do it so it's probably Russian spy time, and they're doing their thing back. And the other thing is, would you believe that Obama's data, his personal data himself, may have been compromised? That's per major media. All right. I mean, you got to dig for these stories. They're not, they're not like, uh, you know, hey, here it is, right here is a big headline. Oh, the president's data may have been compromised. Okay. So I do a lot of research on this stuff, but you know, I'm not trying to. Just beat the drums of the silver crowd or anything like that. I'm giving you the black cat analysis here, okay? We're going with the dark side a little bit and thinking outside the box, but not all the way. Uh, you know, I'm just telling you that there's a lot of things going on that can change the position of way things are trends that are going right now in a heartbeat fast. And expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. It can happen. You know, I know there's a lot of people sometimes, well, not a lot of people, but there are some people out there getting bent out of shape because, you know, I got a small channel here, right? I'm not like trying to, you know, take over the world. But if you look around, I know the people getting bent out. So there are some people getting bent out of shape that, you know, but I work very hard on this channel. If you look at, you know, the number of videos I put out in a year, it's probably like a thousand. I mean, uh, <laughs> that's a lot of work, and actually it's a lot of research work, and I don't just do this only, okay? I work with a firm, okay? But I just want to tell you, though, the silver videos I actually put out, I'm just going to tell you, that's, this is where I actually I get the, less, the least amount of money from, all right? So, I mean, don't be spiteful about it, but I want to tell you, some of the biggest people in the world, you know, in entertainment and stuff, you know, like this lady saying here, I'd like to thank the to thank the, lev the devil and all the dark lords who gave me this award. I'm not getting any special deal here on from the dark lord or the devils. Okay, I'm just doing lots and lots of hard work, so I'm get bent out of shape. So you know, I know there's a lot of people like out there 
thinking like that. I'm like, you know, screw you guys, man. So I'm going to address that deal right now. Now, something else here. It's another deal that's actually a problem in the United States that I see as a major, major problem in for the future. You know, this is not just about real assets, you know, versus paper money. This is also about real work versus bullshit. Now, right now, I'm talking, okay, but I'm going to be putting out a video actually here, you know, because as long as the weather doesn't screw up again, uh, pulling out some dents with uh, a stud puller on a Jeep. You know, I'm going to give you a hands-on video on that using a special uh, weld-on stud puller, right? Um, I don't like just doing these type of videos that are just, you know, talking over. But I just want to say this. I mean, it's not like everything you say that's a talk-over video is bad. But there's a, there's a need for services area. But you look back in the 1850s, there was a need for services area. But mainly it was agriculture and it was also industrial it was all industrial all the way up it was far more industrial you know peaked out basically in 1960 then what happened it went agriculture and this is where jim rogers is talking about agriculture sank to the bottom here right nobody wants to be a farmer because it's not like oh look at me i'm special some people actually freaking work their ass off. They don't just grow food, man. They got to know a lot of stuff. They got to know how to do everything on their damn own, which means mechanical stuff, too. Fixing tractors, you know, fences, how to build a barn, uh, how to make things weatherproof. I mean, it's a lot of hard physical work. And it's like you got to have 10 engineering degrees all in one without going to college. And you really got to know how to apply that science in the real world. Services... What the hell's in services, you know? There's a load of freaking pencil-pushing yo-yos behind desks and computers that aren't really doing a damn thing except feeding the government bureaucracy. And this goes for the holy, holy pastors. You know, it's selling you 95 DVDs, $95 DVDs, services. And, you know, those kind of guys don't even pay taxes on the $95 DVD income, Right? But here's the real problem I see coming for Panther Hens for the future. And actually, Rogers recognizes this because the average age of the farmer, and you know, I'm going digressing a little bit about my main point, but it's got to like telling you about real versus fluff. Um, the average farmer in the United States is like 15 years older than the average freaking worker, the average other worker in other areas. Jim Rogers is going to be right about this deal. Fluff services and paper diarrhea money is going to go out the freaking window okay it's not just the money the paper money the electronic money now we know we got cyber attack here it looks like from russia not per alex jones i don't like alex jones okay i'm talking about per the actual uh you know officials now here the dollar index is going up through the roof but you got to remember this chart's going all the way back to uh you know 2010 right now, you look at what happened here in 2011. This is basically when we had the, the height in the metals, right down here, down here. The dollar was, you know, it's an inverse relationship between the metals and a dollar. Fairly, you know, not exact one-to-one, -one, but it, it's fairly much that way. But, you know, we have a triple bottom in gold right now, and we also have a triple top in the dollar, right? Right across here. You know, it's difficult to say where this is going to go, but it would not surprise me in the least if the direction of the dollar began to reverse and gold went up and, it, you know, it has hit bottom. I think the middle of the next financial crisis is going to be September 2015, but that doesn't necessarily mean that's the middle of the lowest point for gold, silver, and platinum and palladium. That's the middle of the next financial crisis. That could be something totally different. Not even to do with the equities, but could be due to the dollar itself. Okay? So, you know, we're all doomed, okay? <laughs> you know, I, I got to state this deal because, uh, you know, that's really what's all over the place. You know, doom, 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 right? Well, I'm going to tell you something else. You know, Lindsey Williams is another yo-yo that pushes all this elite. This guy doesn't know anything since Ken Fromm died. I know that, you know, but there's still people out there that believe this guy knows something. But I got to state this. 
You know, as far as all the stuff that goes on with the elite plans and all these, I don't think they got it all together. You know, now it's um, former CIA director and defense, former defense secretary Leon Panetta in his new memoir, Worthy Fights, he said that Obama basically dropped the ball on many damn things as far as what he was told about what was going on with ISIS. And he also, he had plenty of leverage to uh, make it so there would still be a U.S. military presence in Iraq to make sure things didn't fall apart, you know, the way they did now. Uh, You know, Robert Gates says the same thing. Actually, Joe Biden is totally pissed off at Leon Panetta for freaking saying this before Obama got out of office. But Leon Panetta said, screw this garbage. You know, Leon Panetta's been around as a career politician longer than Obama. You know, he don't owe Obama nothing. He's just telling you the truth. That's his opinion. It's the same opinion as Robert Gates. Now, Obama threw all our spies under the bus, and he says they didn't give him the information. And Joe Biden's blaming all the stuff on um, all the problems with ISIS in the Middle East on our allies. It's all the freaking Obama's fault and Joe Biden's fault. Bullshit. You know what I mean? It's not the allies' fault. It's not the spies' fault. They were told what was going on. And Obama pulled out the troops in Iraq, all of them. They didn't have to pull out all of them. Could have left a small presence. That would have been enough that they would have known what was going on. And it was stopped it right and nipped it in the bud. But, you know, I'm pointing out this finger with doomed because what it means is for the future, there could be a major blow up in the Middle East, you don't know, overnight, which can send oil through the freaking roof. Even though they're trying to make uh, punish Russia or Putin with oil right now. And that while they're doing this, they're also doing a cyber attacks. They're doing a cyber attacks on um, J.P. Morgan. So I'm thinking, why not still cyber attack anything they can? You know, if they were successful on J.P. Morgan, and even probably the president's own personal data, that's telling you, man. Now that's not per L.W. because I'm get, I, that guy wants me makes me want to puke. It's bur, it's actually a new event that the Russians are doing. That's what it's according to, you know, the, the uh, security people in the United States. All right. So here we have a triple bottom in gold. Now, what I thought last time, double bottom in gold. Double bottom or double top usually means a reverse in direction. You know, last time, and this is where I've been freaking wrong over the last year or so, because um, a double top means you'll have a, you know, a downward spiral, a double bottom normally means you'll have an upward. And that's what it looked like, double bottom, and it started going up, then it started going sideways. Now we got a triple bottom. But that could be it, just like we have a triple top in the dollar. In other words, what you're thinking is going to be the trend for the future because you're looking at the past for the last few years may not be the trend for the future at all. And something could happen in the Middle East. Now, the other issue, again, is to deal with the Russian spies. There are loads of them in the United States. Loads of them. Uh, I don't really know what could possibly happen, but if there's going to be a major breach of security at J.P. Morgan, 76 million households, 7 million small businesses, and probably the president's own private data. Plus, look what happened last week. With this other guy uh, that ran into the White House and got all the way into the White House and even fired shots at the White House. It's a, you know, these guys these guys on the top are bumbling idiots. Obama and Biden, they really are. They really are. I mean, it's not some elitist conspiracy. People elected these yo-yos, man. I mean, uh, I'm uh, to tell you the truth, I'm not going to vote for Romney if he comes in. He's... he's uh, he goes in for president in, under the Republican ticket. I know I'm going to pick a third party because I'm sick of both Democrats and Republicans. But I am going to vote. I'll tell you that right now. I am going to vote. But it looks like, uh, you know, from Russia from lo- with love, you know, they're trying, to, they're trying to tear us down in a lot of different ways, just the way the West is trying to tear Russia down. So do you trust the uh, financial system in general? Maybe not. It wouldn't take much to even knock down the utility system. 
You know, if it comes down to it, you know, Russia's not going to blow up the freaking United States with nukes before they would do something. They would do something like this first. Utility system or the uh, banking system, right? They're not going to do something outlandish like send a nuke over right away or something. That would be some years down the road if it ever gets down to that. But in the meantime, you can't eat freaking toilet paper money. So, you know, I'm just putting this out here because you can't eat silver and gold, too. You know, the only thing, one thing you can do eat is food. That's real food. You know, that's another thing that was learned from the ancient Roman Empire. They actually didn't use paper money back then. But when Rome was being sacked, they were starved out. And people were trading all their gold for the crummiest food going. So that's another issue I want to put out. But I just want you to remember that the cyber attack issue probably did come from Russia. You know, it's like, why, why, why cyber attack J.P.? Who would cyber attack J.P. Morgan? And if you look, look at what's been going on over the last year with the sanctions against Russia and all the different things, it's not that outlandish to think that it, wasn't, it didn't come from them. And if you look at the number of people that are infiltrated in, you know, all these financial institutions and all the inside information they have, it did take a lot of conclusion. So could they bring down a dollar somehow? Could they? I mean, I don't know this, and I'm not trying to be like a drama thing here for that, but could they? Yeah, they could. Why not? Why not? Why not? Do you think the United States has everything all figured out with cybersecurity? Look, how, look, uh, look at some of the smartest people in the world, mathematics and uh, engineering. It's in Russia and in China, too. They got some of the best computer people going. Not to say that there's like a bunch of dummies over here in the United States. Not true, but I'm just telling you, there is a lot of things that could possibly happen out of the clear blue sky that you just don't think could happen. So I'm not telling you this to like, I'm like I want to end. I want to end this with this deal again. Uh, with I am not connected to any silver bullion people. I already know the deal with the silver bullion people and the main people in this deal with the industry. They will sell for cash dollars when it goes up too fast. They will sell while they're telling you it's going higher. Even though I told you all this stuff about the U.S. dollar, it may, what I think is going to happen with the U.S. dollar long term is that it's going to lose a lot of its purchasing power, but it's going to be the currency of the United States of America domestically for, I don't know how many years in the future. I mean, if you're talking 50 or 100 years from now, I don't know. But I mean, if you're talking five years from now, it's going to be the currency of the United States of America. So if you think, you know, you could buy goods, hard goods, and serve, you know, hard goods for paper, you know, I mean, for silver, you're going to have to exchange it into the paper first. And I also want to leave you a note on this deal because I put out about, um, you know, the people that actually do real work in the real world. Um, you know, one of the channels I like here on YouTube the most, and um, he doesn't use the dark forces of entertainment or anything. He actually uses uh, hammers and uh, air chisels and stuff like that and paint guns. I always like this dude, uh, my friend Pete. I always look at this uh his videos, uh, Southwest Rod and Custom and a DIY Auto School. I always look forward to whatever updates he's got. And it goes along with my whole theory of thinking. Uh, I don't really like a lot of the suits, man. They're a bunch of pussy whip weasels, okay? And uh, this guy, I really, uh, I'm just going to end this on his note because uh, it goes along. You know, here's a good video. Get off my ass. You know, basically he's doing something real. You know, he's not shuffling paper. Not to say that everybody that shuffles paper is bad or isn't useful, but we got too many of those in the United States from what I showed you on this chart with the services area, okay? So, if he gets cyber attacked, if Pete gets cyber attacked, it's not going to affect his welder. It's still going to work. The hammer's still going to work. The air grinder is still going to work. And your silver and gold is still going to work, okay? Anyway, over and out. Have a good day, and I hope I didn't drama the hell out of anybody too much. It wasn't my intention.